I'm gonna go outside today and ask 10 people what the time is. Yeah, so for someone who's actually socially anxious, not someone who's just looking like top 10 tips to network better, yeah. I say number one is uh, you need to deal with the uh, biological hardware of your body in terms of like looking at the brain and the body as a science project and realizing that some deficiencies, some p points of, um, of, of toxicity can be real problems that can cause your brain to be inflamed and to kind of look down. So number one, address the hardware of the body, which is go to the gym, your sweat. food. Yeah. Med all these yeah. things. Uh, yeah. number two, I would say is, um, a lot of people don't really necessarily have the social skills that deal with social anxiety. And a big part of that is just researching like body language, understanding that it's not just about the words that you use. It's also about the way that you say them and your vocal tonality and, and the way that your body is positioned and how that makes the other person perceive you. And then I'd say number three is um, exposure therapy. I think you need to work your way up. And if you want to tackle a fear, you need to slowly, incrementally introduce it into your life. I remember for me, that was like literally out here in the streets of Boston. I was like, I'm going to go outside today and ask 10 people what the time is. <laughs> and I would do that. And then you'd work your way up. You ask them what directions is. And then eventually you'd be able to like start a conversation. And then you work your way up. You start to go to maybe events by yourself, different situations like that that can definitely push you and kind of show you to who you really are. So those are three tips. <laughs>